sorry to do this on the air, but the company insists that I do what they call multitasking. You know, do more than one thing at a time. They say I can do the radio show, do my conductor's job, and occasionally work in the club car or the dining car without stretching myself too thin. Uh, one of their slogans is affordable luxury through the exploitation of cheap and desperate labor. Hello, sir. May I see your ticket, please? How do you do? Thanks. Hmm. Mr. Dracula? Oh, that's Count Dracula. You're a count? Yes, but do not hold it against me. I cannot help being of the blood royal. Oh, no, sir. Not at all. In fact, it's an honor to have you aboard. I hope you'll be able to make yourself comfortable with our humble accommodations. I shall do my best. Transylvania, huh? Hmm, you're a long way from home. A very long way. And what brings you to our country? In business. I imagine doing business in the U.S. is a lot different than doing business in Transylvania. <laughs> True, it does present difficulties, but uh, I like the country. Okay, would you like something from the refreshment car? Uh, thank you. Some wine. Red wine. Ah, that glass of that will be... What's wrong? What is it? I'm sorry. I, I, I just dropped a bottle and... Oof, I cut my finger. <gasps> no. It's all right. You darn tootin' it's all right. Hey, that guy's name is not Dracula. It's Dracula. Count Dracula. And that, he didn't even have a reflection in the mirror behind him. Whoa. That's why I dropped the bottle. I remember that name now. Count Dracula is one of those vampire critters. I'm locking this compartment tight until we get to the next... Locks are useless yes. against Count Dracula. Mirrors do not reflect my image, nor do locks keep me out. As the wolves you hear are not wolves, but like myself, vampires. The dead who live by night. The dead undead. Dang, this looks this is like a bad dream, a nightmare. That's what it will seem like when you wake up. Yes, you're going to sleep now. And yet not sleep. You will remember all you see in here, but when you wake in, it will seem like a dream. A dream you'll tell no one, because you will not want to look foolish. You'll be ashamed to tell it for fear you'll think you're silly. Now you get away from me. Enough. Sleep. Oh, yeah? Well, take a look at this. This crucifix. How you like that, Mr. Vampire? You know. You know. I will make you pay for this. You shall pay. Just because you discovered my secret, you can stop me. Fool. You've only delivered yourself into my hand. It may be, Count, but for now, how about you getting off of my train? I leave you. Holy smoke. That guy just turned into a big old bat and flew right out the car window. Oh, I really make some interesting pokes on this job. Well, let's get on with our trip. In this 1939 episode, the Green Hornet and Cato investigate sabotage at a meat packing plant. Let's see how it turns out. The Green Hornet. 